Hey, it's a basic sorgonomics for this March 12th, 2015. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter. You can check out all this at Sorgatron.com. Please subscribe on iTunes and on YouTube for versions of this show. Let's continue our theme of the week. How about the state of podcasting? Uh, I mean, not the state of podcasting, just some stuff on my mind with some recent conversation I've been having. I actually had a great uh, Google call, Google Hangout call last night uh, with the great Joseph Rampella. Rampola. Rampola? Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Joe. I'm really poor at the names. Uh, but <laughs> uh, he actually is a proprietor over there at uh, ardirt.com, and he has some really cool things going on. So I want to first give him a shout out for that. Um, the AR for augmented reality. You know, we're talking about you know Hololens and Google. Google uh, Glass and, and, and other augmented reality stuff, um, you know, really, really cool kind of look at that uh, uh, side to, uh, you know, technology and a very spe- you know, specific uh, silo of technology um, that he's taken on there. And we talked a good bit of, about a little bit of state of the podcast, some of the opportunities in podcasting. And um, I really uh, kind of I really enjoyed it because it got me kind of thinking on a few lines because, I mean, I, the big thing with podcasting. Um, you know, I, I think there's a certain level of, you know, uh, people want to kind of find their voice and have a place to discuss stuff. You know, I mean, I mean, I got into it just, oh, I got my alarm. Um, it just, people get into it just to, uh, live podcasting guys. I don't edit. I don't edit. Um, you know, get, get into it just to have her voice. You know, it was, it was a lot of fun for us to podcast and get our opinions out there. Uh, myself and my friends for the wrestling mayhem show, right. Uh, you know, our friends to get together and talk wrestling and find a bunch of other people that want to talk wrestling in a similar vein to what we were. Um, and, 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 and that's grown to so many people that are doing the same thing. So there's a sense of community. We got to build out of that. Um, but there are also people that are hoping to turn their passion. I want to say that they're turning their passion to cash, but it seems a little demeaning when I say it that way. But but no, I mean, and even me, I've been doing this for so long and I've been putting much, so, so much work into it. And it's went off to other things and I'm, I'm doing I'm doing this for for some clients here and there. Um, so I get to really use kind of my expertise to 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 turn into something right and do something more than just a day job uh more than just a hobby um and uh but there, there's i'm definitely a, a person who uh i i'm i'm good i'm okay with the creative i suppose uh or some told um but the, the business mind i I'm, I'm having a little trouble with and i look at some of these uh that we talked about you know the john lee dumas models and and everything and and, and you know a lot of the helper kind of podcasts that also have a book or an ebook or a service or or something like that, and it just becomes a a, a business front end to that. Um, I've always worried about an inauthenticity uh, with some of those, and uh, it, but th- there's definitely a lot of opportunity too. Um, you know, I, I, I geez, where do I want to go with this one? Um, um, I, I, whatever I end up doing, I want to kind of feel natural, right? Um, we're we're experiencing a good bit with it. Um, with you know, for one client, it's just you know getting their message out there, right? Uh, it, you know, with with what we do with Seclair, with the educational grand rounds, it's about the practitioners talking about topics that are pertaining to their practice um, out there with with behavioral therapy and mindfulness and and, and and dialectical behavior therapy, and we bring topics in there, and we've been having a lot of fun with it lately. Oh, yeah, it's fun, some foreboding topics like we you know we talked about. Spock and humanity, and and we rolled that into what they're doing down there. Um, we, you know, the other topics we can bring in animal therapy, you know, uh, whatever we can we can kind of swing into it. Um, versus, you know, and I guess a lot of my work personally doesn't have a business model. It's say, hey, let's do the show. Let's see if we can get some listeners. Uh, let's see if we can get some Patreon supporters if they really dig it. You know, me, me it's just producing good quality content as much as I can. And see where it goes from there. Um, versus another look at it, we are we're doing a podcast with uh, Journal of Lifestyle Medicine, and we're starting to turn that around to becoming. We've done it for a bit. We've done some really good interviews 
with technology and uh, that are getting a lot of traction out there, um, you know, depending on who the interview is. And, and here's the other interesting thing. Um, uh, this is, you know, a lot of times I think we're a lot of, a lot of times colored in. Well, I don't have X number of people looking at my thing because we're looking at things exploding on YouTube. We're looking at the Leo Laporte podcast. They're getting thousands and that hundreds of thousands of, of views and, and listens and everything like that. And we say, well, that's what I need to aim for. It's not what you need to aim for. Um, you know, my conversation last night, you know, uh, repeated a thing that, that that's helped me over the years when I'm sitting here and look at the numbers and I'm like, God, it's in a, in, it's in a triple digits, you know, uh, what am I going to do with that? I can't make a living off of triple digits, but it's like, but, but, you know, it's put all those people in a room and, you know, in a concert hall or something, and you you have something significant there. They're just spread out all over the world, which, which is really funny. That was reiterated, reiterated back to me last night because when how many Tuesday nights when I'm here and I've done the show and I'm I'm wondering why I'm doing this anymore, because um, and and I, I that's one of the, the things that have helped me over the years, especially the down points uh, several years ago when I was questioning a lot of things in my life to be honest um but somehow i had survived the podcast and and grown to other things you know um it's very dangerous when i'm at low points because i create new things to occupy myself some go shopping i create podcasts um and it's been kind of a self-help tool for that and, and community i get to build this community I don't want to say around me, but, um, you know, uh, but, but it is, it is, it's building community, it's building like-minded people, um, and a support system of wrestling fans in my case, uh, or technology, uh, uh, addicts in my case. Um, and you know, not so much a financial kind of goal or anything like that, but it is something that will have, um, I, I think some kind of reward in the end and if nothing else opportunities, you know, stuff like this, stuff like communicating and, 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 and talking with Joe last night, just because a, I, I happened to post, um, I believe is I did a video on hangouts, I think, um, that I shared. I'm like, Hey, here's my thoughts on such and such. Cause I thought it really kind of applied. So I dropped it in the podcast, uh, group. I try not to self promote so much there, which is also part of me being just a horrible, horrible salesman of myself, um, which has been a longstanding problem that I've had. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure some people can relate. That's why I didn't last in telemarketing. Um, uh, but, uh, oh boy, telemarketing. That was interesting. Um, telling me to go find a real job. Uh, anyways. Um, and here I am in my basement doing podcasts. <sighs> Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I can't see myself, you know, trying to put together these sessions and, and I do want to do help sessions. I love the idea of doing that. I've doing some teaching, teaching other people to do this thing, um, and to reach or help or whatever their goals there. Um, and, uh, really, I, I do have actually some concepts that I'm working on there, uh, that will get as big as I think you know, to, to some degree, um, you know, kind of getting out there and teaching more. Um, because I definitely kind of fell out of that with some of the projects that came out last year that really kind of said, ah, I want to settle down my schedule. But I think we're going to hit that hard, especially with this event we're doing up at Rollins uh, for, uh, you know, podcasting for practitioners here on the 26th. Um, and uh, and some other, actually a little bit of other, some other teaching opportunities coming up as well. Um, and I think we're going to spin that and maybe start doing some online stuff. Because, um, I mean, I just, I, I love the idea of what Google Hangout and, and some of these communities have done. Uh, to kind of break down those barriers and let's start using them a bit more um, and actually, you know, you know, expand that out and offer things. Um, so um, as far as the state of podcasting, uh, it's not going on the way. Um, there was a there was a fear, you know, we talked about, you know, well, these radio guys are getting on, these big names are getting on and um, and, uh, and and we need to get our name out there before. You know, it's flooded with all this. Hey, you know what? It's flooded with these people already. Um, and honestly, I look at it this way. If, uh, yes, we're getting kind of flooded by the ESPN radios and the uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin podcast and Kevin Smith and everything. And I think to a point, they have automatic success because they brought the audience to a new medium. Whereas we're starting and we have no audience. I have no followers in comparison to what they have, right? That follow me as a person and a personality 
uh, you know, but apparently, you know, some of you guys are. Hi, I'm doing this, you know, and the numbers look pretty okay from week to week when it comes to basic sorgonomics. Um, definitely enough to keep doing it uh, that somebody's out there listening. Um, and it just kind of heals my soul, to be honest. Um, but... <laughs> But uh, the way I look at it, I don't look at them as competition, you know. I look at them as bringing more people to the medium. And the fun part is when they follow, let's say you do a show that's very similar to Fat Man on Batman. You're doing a Batman podcast. Well, guess what? They're on Stitcher. They're on iTunes. They're looking up uh, that. And what's similar? People that like this like this other podcast. Maybe you're the one that likes your own podcast and Kevin Smith's and you're very similar. Um, that's another point of discovery you know and um and, and it's going to be more and more well uh, it's more challenging because you're competing with kevin smith and and the joe rogans and people that that are more mainstream entertaining than you but that's where the cream will rise to the top there's a lot of people with it is a lot of hey start your podcast just do it but you know let's be honest a lot of people they suck when they start you know i well i listened to an interview i did with uh, a friend of the show it's now in TNA Wrestling, actually, from 20, 2009, 2010, something like that. And I hated it. Oh, I was the worst interviewer. I, I'm debatable how good of an interviewer I am now. But, uh, you know, you're not going to start a podcast tomorrow and, and shoot to the top of iTunes. There's some tricks for that, but you got to learn a good bit before you get there. I still can't just start a podcast and shoot that up there. Um, and I've started several of them over the last year. But anyways, um, what do you think about the state of podcasting, some of these other options, um, and and some of these other kind of more, jeez, uh, I, I, I don't know a good label for some of these uh, more monetarily minded podcasts that uh, I, I really, they, they really, I think their podcast is the first one, free mentality, and then it just uh, supports everything else, which is which super smart. But again, I'm just a horrible, horrible salesman. I'm still trying to ad roll ads for my own services that I can sell. <laughs> into my own podcast uh, by the way sogertronmedia.com if you need any help with podcasting or social media or anything like that i kind of do a lot of it i mean professionally for professional type people that wear ties sometimes um sorgatron.com is where this is please subscribe to basic sorgonomics on youtube and the itunes i hope to have pretty links for that soon thanks to a tip i picked up last night um and so much more until next time basic sorgonomics This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.